Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be making a video showing that the Givi SIM card to unlock the iPhone 4 on baseband 02104 is a legitimate product and works. Um, you've probably seen other videos um, like this, but I'm just a regular uh, person who wants to use this T-Mobile card on an iPhone 4. I don't work for Givi or anything. Um, I live in New York City. Uh, you'll see that I'm be on T-Mobile once everything works. And just want to prove that this is a legitimate product and is a good alternative for those who are currently on these uh, baseband, which are currently unlockable by Soul Savings. So let's start the process. You see, we have the Givi SIM card and SIM card tray, which it comes with. Uh, here is the T Mobile card, which has been cut to a micro size. We will insert this. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. So bear with me. Okay, now I'm going to insert it with one hand. So again, bear with me. Yeah, there it is. It's not sitting flush. Yeah, it's not. It's not usually this difficult, but it's really hard to do with one hand. So, okay, the card is in. Okay, so the next step is to see one bar appear, and we should see the message describing how to unlock the phone. If you've seen the other videos, you've seen how this works. And just waiting for the message. Oh, there we go. Accept. Okay, so as the message said, we need to go to our phone. First, we have to wait for one bar to appear. Okay, so there's one bar. Go to phone. And then we dial 112. Okay, so let's call 112. Okay, it's only supposed to be for two seconds, so that should be sufficient. Next step is to turn on airplane mode, so let's go to airplane mode in settings. Now, supposedly, this is supposed to be done quickly, so let's see. Airplane mode on, airplane mode off. You're supposed to get these two messages. Once those two messages happen, we should just have to wait at this point. have to wait too long. So since we're waiting, let's see now I'm recording this with an iPad 2. So if the video looks kind of crappy, blame Apple for not putting a better camera on the iPad 2. Now, if this process doesn't work, we just repeat this. No SIM. On. Off. SIM failure. Okay. Ah, that searching is a good sign. Usually, after searching for a little bit, it will tell us that we got our T-Mobile SIM card. It's not a perfect process, by the way. I mean, you might have to do this once or twice, but once it's done, I've been using this pretty much for the last five or six hours, you don't have to do this again unless the phone is turned on. That's really the key there. If you go, I've been underground the subway, was riding with this, came back above ground, and everything was fine. Did not have to reset it. 
do not have any um, missed calls, no bad call quality, nothing to that effect. Okay. And hopefully this doesn't take too long. While it's searching, let me just verify again that we are on modem firmware 2.10.04 and we are on regular firmware 4.1 so 4.1 as you can see modem firmware 2.10.04 okay and as you see T-Mobile guys uh, just to complete Verification. I will make a phone call to my home phone. Uh, won't let you see that. Okay. Won't let you see me calling my home phone. Now you can hear my home phone ring over there. And we will now end it. Okay, guys. So. Hope you see that this DV is a legitimate product. Um, as I said, I've only been using it for a day, so I can't tell you if it's a perfect product. Um, but I can tell you this. I have not had to reset it since I put it in the cart until I turned off the phone just to do this demonstration. Um, I have had regular call quality. I can text. I can use data. There's pretty much what I can do um, if it was normally unlocked with you know something from the dev team or Hewlett Hacker or you know any other uh, software unlocked after the jailbreak. Um, so I think this is a very legitimate product for those of you looking for an unlock and you don't want to wait for the software unlock or the um, the new hack which is supposedly coming out by the dev team. Um, so if you want to unlock your phone, you don't mind spending. Um, I've seen the prices anywhere from thirty to seventy dollars and even a hundred dollars. You know, um, this is a good product. Um, that's about it. If there are any questions, you know, let me know. I'm not really a big YouTube video maker. I just wanted to sort of end some of the controversy surrounding this product. All right. So um, as I experience uh, how this works, and if there's any bad points to it, I'll let you know. But right now, I'm pretty satisfied. Thanks.